What's going on everybody? I wanted to do a quick update on this Badger Extreme Patriot 105. Oh, super bummed out. Uh, this thing was very nice the other day when I was testing it. And today it is awful. Um, I don't know what happened. I didn't drop it. I didn't do anything. I've been spending most of the, not the most of the day, but a lot, way too much of my hobby time today messing with this effing thing. Um, so, yeah, pretty bummed out. Um, the spray seems to be shooting, like, downward. So it should be shooting straight out like a cone. And it seems like it's shooting like this. If that makes sense, it's going, like, down. And I've rotated the needle, so I don't think the needle's just bent, because if I rotated the needle, then when it was curved up, it should shoot up. It does not do that. So I don't know what's going on with it. I know what happened after I started shooting this Dynal Res uh, black primer through, uh, through it. I don't know if that's the problem, um, but geez. This is really a bummer. I've been having the worst luck with this thing. Uh, I did email Badger because I've pretty much given up on uh, trying to figure out how to fix it myself. I'm not super familiar with airbrushes, so I don't know how to do it. I have taken it apart. I've needle juiced it, right? I've tried a lot of different things online. It always just seems like, uh, they're like, oh, your tip's clogged or whatever, but... I don't know how much more I can try and clean this tip, but we're going to keep trying, I guess. Hopefully Badger gets back to me. I don't know what the policy or process is on getting something fixed or returned. I did buy it at the convention, so maybe it's defective and I get a brand new one. Um, and then also using it, I'm having a really kind of hate-love thing for the time it worked. Hate relationship. With this little nozzle down here, it seems absolutely pointless and just in the way. So hopefully there's some kind of maybe adapter I can use to plug that up or something. I don't know. I don't like that little nozzle. And like I said, it was spraying good fine lines and I felt like it had good control. I was priming some models, just some old junky Space Marines with that Steinal Res primer. It seemed like it came out pretty nice like that primer seems pretty good but uh for some reason my airbrush just stopped working now another bummer on that which i still can't figure out why it could be my compressor but my other airbrush my little chinese one just works fine so i don't think it's the compressor maybe i need a more powerful compressor with that airbrush but uh, so then i went with this needle here um, it's the bigger one. I believe it's a 0.5. It's got the silver back on it. And we went ahead and put that in to the hairbrush. And wouldn't you know it, it didn't work at all. <laughs> so, uh, pretty bummed out about that. It has like a different tip that you shoot from. And the only way it would work is if the final piece of so there's one that's like, <clears throat> there's like a nozzle guard and then a little nozzle guard over the tip and needle. And then the needle comes out through there. So there's a different setup that came with that needle. And the final piece can't be screwed on all the way or nothing shoots out of it. So, I don't know. Pretty bummed out about this. Probably going to have to switch back to the other one just to get some uh, things primed up and base coated while we troubleshoot and figure out what the hell to do with this one. So super bummed out, hopefully Badger makes it right. And I honestly 100% don't believe uh, I did anything to damage it besides shoot their product through it. So uh, I have heard nothing but good things though about their uh, customer service. So I'm pretty excited to, I guess, hopefully get it looked at, I don't know. I guess you gotta mail it in so it's going to cost more money to do that, and that's a bummer, but having it work perfect is better than not having it work. 
I don't know what the process is on trading it for just the regular Patriot 105 without that little nozzle thing, the little screw on the bottom, but I don't, I don't know about that thing. So uh, hopefully the next video on the Patriot Extreme 105 will be nothing but good things because for the little couple times I had a chance to play with it, uh, it seemed very nice. So I like it a lot. And I would like it to start working again. So just a quick update for you. We are moving along. I think I'm going to use uh, this. Actually, no. I'm going to use this ready-to-use airbrush cleaner from Badger. And maybe soak some pieces in it. And hopefully that will take care of if there's any kind of clog. I don't know. So that's all I got for you right now. Adios, please subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of hobby videos and possibly let me know if you like my other video I uploaded with a thumbnail. Do we like thumbnails?